Hello everyone, welcome to CodeSynthet.com. In this video, we are going to implement a Google login with your Flutter application. So this is the sample app which we are going to create now. So when the user click the login button, so we need to fetch the user's account. So when the users click the account, so we are fetching the user's profile picture, name and the email address and we are displaying with the logout button. So when the users click the logout, we are just logging out. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe and click the bell icon to get the instant notification whenever I upload a new video. You can also follow me on uh, Twitter and Facebook, links on the description. In order to work with the Google authentication, first I am going to create a Flutter project. So Flutter create Google Auth. So it may take a few seconds. So we have created a new project called the Google Earth. So I'm just navigating to the Google Earth project. I'm just opening the project with the, my code editor. I'm using the VS Code. To work with the Google authentication, first we have to do some configuration on the Firebase. So let me do that first. So just navigate to your console.firebase.google.com. You can create a new project or you can choose an existing project. So here I'm going to choose my existing project. So once you choose the existing project, just navigate to your authentication. So navigate to the sign in method. So here you have to enable Google authentication. Click enable and click save. So once you enabled, go to your project overview. So you can click add app here. Otherwise you can go to your project settings. So here you can choose Android. So here you have to register your application. So I'm just using my package id com dot and then you can choose the pick you can choose the application name you can use any then i have to create a sha1 key so to do that just i'm clicking the link here you have to execute the command line so if you are using a windows or uh, you, if you are using Windows, you can execute this one. If you are using Linux or Mac, you can execute this one. Then I'm just opening the terminal. Just run it. It will ask the password. So the default password is Android. So here you can see we have the SKCA one key. Just copy the code and paste here. Then click register app. So now you need to download the Google services JSON file. So here I have downloaded the file, then click next, next, and you can skip the step. Once you download the file, go to your project settings and choose the general and make sure you have given the support email. Once you completely done with the Firebase side, we need to work with the Flutter side. In order to work with the Flutter project, I'm navigating to the main dot dot and just erasing everything. And here I have created some skeleton code. Uh, this will uh, display some login button and uh, we are displaying some images and uh, we are creating some text with the logout button. So just to save the file and let me run the project. Right. So before running the project, uh, I have given some uh, package name on the Firebase, right? So we need to update it on my uh, Android project. So for that, go to your Android application. So here, build it at Gradle. So here you need to update your package name. Save the file. We already downloaded some Google services.json, right? So we need to include with our project. So I'm just navigating to my downloads folder so here my google services.json i'm just copying it and uh, navigating to my project google authentication android so here go to the app folder you need to paste it here and you can run the application here you can see the output we simply created a login button and when the users click but Click the google login nothing will happen because we haven't written anything inside the login and in order to work with the google login first we have to implement the package 
So for a Google login, we are going to use the package called Google sign in. So I'm just go to the installation. So I need to add the dependency now. Go to your public uh, bub specific YAML file, and uh, here I need to add the Google sign in. So let me save the file. So once I save the file, VS Code by default is executing the Flutter bub get and uh, which download the dependency and it will automatically include to my project. So once it is completed, I need to go to the main.dot. So here I have to import my Google authentication files. Import Google sign in dot dot. Here we have created an instance called Google Sign In with the Google Sign In class name. So this is coming from the uh, package which we have included right now. So so now I'm going to work with the Sign In. So I'm using a try catch method. If any error, jo, if any error, I just going to catch it and uh, print it on the console. Okay. So here I'm going to execute the sign in okay so this code it will automatically sign in the user and the same thing goes for a sign out sign in dot sign out so once the user is logged in so we are going to set the state as true When the user is logged in, so we will display this one. If the user is not logged in, we will display the login with Google button. So here I need to display the profile picture. So for that, I'm just using the Google sign in dot current user. So which will get the logged in user dot profile picture. So here I'm using the photo URL. For displaying the user's name, I'm using the Google sign in again dot current user dot display name in case if you want to display the email address you can do it instead of the display name so you can execute the email so i'm just saving the file then i'm going to terminal and uh, i'm going to stop it again and i need to run the application on my device so here you can see the output when i click uh, when I click the login with Google, so I'm just choosing my account. So here you can see I display my the my profile picture name and the email address. So when I click the logout, so it's going back. Thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, if you are facing any issue, feel free to comment below. And uh, if you like this video, share with your friends. Have a great day. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe and click the bell icon to get the instant notification whenever I upload a new video. You can also follow me on uh, Twitter and Facebook. Links on the description.